hey you guys welcome back to my channel so I wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff that I got from my thrift haul can you believe I went thrift shopping and the reason why I say that is because I talked about it in the past thrifting is really hard for me <laughs> I don't know if it's because everything is so random and you have to have patience to go thrifting so I ended up I wanted to go to Nordstrom's rack to look at their clearance I didn't make it there I did go to TJ Maxx and look at their clearance items that was a fail I mean, things were marked at $50 for clearance. I mean, the regular price was $50, and they would take off like $2 for clearance. So I guess I need to wait for the yellow tag sale with TJ Maxx because that was not saving any money. Um, and then, so I ended up going to two Goodwills, and I stopped at the Salvation Army. Now, the purpose for my thrifting haul is because I needed to build my inventory to add to my Poshmark closet. Yes, my Poshmark closet. Now, I've partnered with Poshmark in the past and I'm partnering with them again to bring you guys this video so I can let you know that Poshmark is an online store, basically, where you can buy really, really nice brands of clothing uh, at a really good deal or you can sell your items that you may not be using anymore that's in your closet. Lightly used, nothing tore up or anything like that. Very lightly used or brand new is excellent. Now, they have everything from high-end to low-end brands. It is ridiculous the things that you can find on there. They have Louis Vuitton, Coach, uh, Nike. They have Hello Kitty. They have all kinds of brands. When I looked at their brand list, I was like, oh my goodness like they had tons of brands that you can choose from so to join Poshmark there is a link down below that I have added go ahead and click that create you a closet it is free completely free uh, create you a closet and once you get your closet name make sure you come back to the comment section and leave the name of the closet that you have created that way other people will see that they'll go to your closet and vice versa you go and look at their stuff in their closet and maybe they'll purchase something from you maybe you'll purchase something from them also my closet name is down below it's the same as my channel uh, go ahead and follow me and I will follow you back so I wanted to go get some items to build my inventory and that is what I'm getting ready to show you guys right now so since I only got one item from the Salvation Army I'll go ahead and start with that because most of the other items came from the Goodwill uh, so the first thing that I, I'm going to share with you guys is by Gloria Vanderbilt and it is this cute skirt and it actually is a skirt because it has shorts underneath and I love that it had the little cargo pocket right here and it goes around actually there's yeah actually there's two pockets there's one in the front and one in the back right there and then you have the other pockets in the back with the little buckles at the top. And if you cannot already tell, this looks like it was brand new. It's a size 8. And yeah, I just thought this was super cute. Now my problem with thrift shopping is I'm always looking for items that I think I would like. Now I've seen a lot of name brand items. However... <sighs> Names will sell, but for me, I like making sure that I have higher end products to put on my Poshmark. But at the same time, even if it's higher end and I don't like the pattern or I don't like the way it looks, I won't pick it up. So it has to be something that I actually think is cute and that I would actually wear myself for me to grab it. So this is the only thing that I picked up from um, Salvation Army. Now, I won't be telling you guys the prices the only reason why I'm not going to do that is because if anybody is watching and they go to my my closet I don't want anybody to try to lowball me I mean if I tell you how much I paid for it then in turn somebody will be like oh well you know trying to basically get me to sell it for that price where that it just doesn't work like that like you have to include the sh shipping packaging you know the packaging my gas for looking for the items you know just a bunch of other stuff that comes into play so all I really ask for is and, and usually my stuff is reasonable or low and I do not I do not 
uh, usually decline deals especially when somebody puts it in a bundle but however I'm just not going to tell the prices of the items I hope you guys don't mind so with that being said the next bag that I'm going to go into and I have two bags from the Goodwill so first I am going um, to start with these uh, Levi jeans and they are two super low Levi's and they're just your basic Levi's I love that they were like the light wash like this and really really nice now when I'm looking for items to add to my inventory I really go through like looking at every single thing I even look inside and look down in the crotch area like I don't want to sell anything that looks like it's just kind of gross or anything like that or tears in it or rips or stains or anything like that so I really take my time when I'm looking for items and so that's probably why I'm super exhausted right now because <laughs> I was in them stores I was tired I had a long day today you guys so anyways the first thing that I did pick up was these Levi's now at the Goodwill they have they price their jeans I think just a tiny bit higher and I think the reason why is because on certain days it's buy two pairs of jeans and get the third one free so I did uh, get two I think I got three pairs of jeans if not I got more but I know I got three pairs uh, so then I got another pair and these are the signature Levi's and these are really really nice I love that dark wash on them and they just have the regular front I love this kind of design where it looks like it was you know scrunched up right there with the white and right here also I need to start purchasing more plus size clothing because it seems like it's a lot easier to find really cute stuff in the smaller sizes uh, but when I'm looking for hold on you guys but when I'm looking for the plus size clothing that is really fashionable or just something that would catch my eye I'm not really finding anything but I'm going to make that my next hunt is for finding plus size clothing only so this last pair of pants from this store is a, a pair of not is it not yeah not your daughter's jeans and these are really really nice oh actually this is a jean skirt and it's really nice and most of the items that I find is usually like brand new and that's the back of it if you follow my closet you will see this and it's just one of those really really long jean skirts and it does have a split up the back and I just thought this was super cute and I love not your job not your daughter's jeans they are super comfortable and this actually has some stretch to it right here really really stretchy look at that this is a size 16 so this is actually one of the plus size items that I was able to get and the inside says lift tuck technology so it's made to kind of help your midsection and I thought these was this was really nice for me to find so hopefully somebody will grab that up real quick we're moving into this next bag right here and like I said it has to appeal to my eye in order for me to purchase it because if it doesn't I just I just can't like I can I seen so many brand names that was you know nice condition but it just wasn't something that I would wear so I didn't get it shirt right here is by Lane Bryant and it's just like a white type of can you see that yeah <laughs> it's like a white type of sweater and it has this kind of the lines through it and it's just really nice and what did I say yeah Lane Bryant so I thought I, I thought that was a good deal for what I got that for the next item is this cable and gauge shirt for women and this is actually in a 3x so um, I just took the tag off of that one uh, this one is a 3x and I really like the detail on the neck right there and let's see the arms are kind of like the bat wing type of an arm right there and then it has the cuffed like in and the bottom is long 
really cute and then the back is just plain but what caught me was this detailing right here and and like I said it is a 3x really really nice so I think I did pretty good today I think I did now this next one is it has the tags on it I really like looking for items that have the tags on them so I did find this and this is by a brand called fresh produce and it looks like this and this is a really cute cute pattern and it's just like a little cardigan really like that and it buttons all the way down and then the back is just like this I won't go too much into it because I mean these items will be listed on my Poshmark so if you're interested in even just looking at it then you'll be able to go on there and see this next item is by uh, simply Vera Wang and so I grabbed this and I thought this would be really pretty for someone to wear to work it's really flowy and I mean it's Vera Wang gotta love Vera Wang and the back has the zipper that goes down and it has the fish hook right there really really nice what size was this this is a medium it's a medium but it looks like it, it will even fit a large for me yeah for me my chest it wouldn't fit me but if you have a smaller upper area then even um, someone that will wear a large could fit that okay we are almost done I think I only have two more items and this one is by a new day and it is also a cardigan but I thought it was really really I thought it was really cute and it's just cream color with the long sleeves and it also has a long long bottom so it's not just your regular one and then the back has like the thing it looks like it's a belt but it doesn't come off it just stays like that so I thought that was a nice little detail okay so then this last item is what I was super excited by I thought it was super cute now it's super hot <laughs> in California and so I dare not wear this but hopefully someone from the East Coast will want to get this or maybe even somebody on the West Coast and just put it away until it gets cold outside but this is a really cute jacket by Banana Republic and I'm trying my hardest to stay away from jackets I don't think I want to start stocking up on winter stuff right now I think I'm just gearing more towards you know like summer stuff but I could not pass up this jacket. Look at this. Really, really nice. It has lots of zippers and like, de you know, like details on it. The zipper is cute and it looks it looks like nobody has ever worn this. The inside has pink like piping right here and then it has like silk or whatever and it's polka dot. You can't really see it, but it has little white polka dots on it super cute and it has a chain at the top with the pink and it is by banana republic and the back looks like that and it has like the little ruffle area right here did you see that okay right here <laughs> super cute and i stood there in that store for a minute and i and i contemplated really hard on that jacket but at the end of it all it came home with me to go on my poshmark closet so that is it for my thrift haul. I, I said go ahead and click that link down below in the description box and um, go ahead and create your closet. Come back, leave me your name, make sure to follow my closet, and I'll do the same. And yeah, earn you some or make you some really good money that is off of items that you may just have sitting in your closet. So thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned because you know there will be some more videos coming soon and I'll talk to you later. Bye.